Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. We got everything you want. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not everything you want. But I think we got carrots. So, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, not Axl Rose. And it's early. So, because it's only like 60 something this morning so far. But it's already pushing 80 in the greenhouse. So, let's take a pause. Flip you around. And, uh... See what we got going on in here today. <laughs> Be right back. All right, so you see me, somewhat me, but look at this. What is this? My belly. So <laughs> some of my greens are about two, three feet tall here, and I am seeing tops. So, and we are, what are we on? We're June something. No idea. I can't remember. June 16th, 17th. Saturday. So, look at all my greens. Lots of green tops. So, some of these will be saved. And some of them will be a yummy treat for the, um, oh, the guys and dolls down in the coop. So, anyway, it's time. It's time. So we're going to do some pulling a little bit. Hopefully you can see that. I have not had enough coffee yet, to be honest with you. <laughs> not enough coffee. Is there enough coffee in the morning? Mm. Yes, yummy coffee. So, I don't even know where to start, to be honest with you. The greens are. <laughs> Good morning, Colonel. Um, gosh, the greens are everywhere. So, got a lot going on today. I wanted to do a. Um, gosh, I wanted to show you everything that's going on in the garden right now, but. The yard's a mess. We've had rain this week a couple times, which is good. I haven't had to water, personally, water. And I'm being careful. Sorry, I'm being careful with my... Because I want these greens. If you remember last year, I took some of the really pretty greens when I chopped them off. And then I hung them up and dried them. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So good. Um, I've used them in place of parsley, basically. Um, dried in a lot of stuff. I like them when they're young and fresh, like this, on salad. I mean, you don't have carrots, but you got a greens. It gives it that little bit of a <laughs> kernel. <laughs> Sorry, it gives you a little bit of peppery, uh, carroty kind of thing going on. So, thing with carrots, like I've told you before, you know they're ready. Um, when you start seeing the shoulders, you know, the tops. Now this one was a little early. It's still got a little bit of green. Can you see that? Got a little bit of green around the top. But it's just getting just time, you know. So today's going to be a process um, because once I get these out, pretty much when they're pulled, you've got to do something because those, you know, those just kind of start closing off. <laughs> Lord have mercy. This is, he's waking up. I think he's happy because I just fed him. Um, anyway, we'll talk more about the carrots. So, when it comes time, I'll, I may sit down and do that with you. Yeah, I probably will. I'll pause it, come back when everything's ready. Um, cut the tops off and show you how I stored them last year. If you saw that video recently on the uh, carrot experiment a year later so gosh they smell so good too oh my wow. um pretty much right now i'm just trying to make a spot and i'm going to work out from there um 
Now, some of you are seeing this and you're probably thinking, gosh, these are tiny, but they're not. Um, these are Chantenay. So, you know, three to five inches. Um, but they get a much broader <laughs> neck. So they may be short, but they are stout <laughs> and sweet. So you could say they were baby carrots, but they're actually, you know, full size. Just trying to get myself a space in here to see. And there's a lot still to make in here there are some small ones um, so I'm just trying to carefully because I'm not going to pull everything because some of them just aren't ready so I've really got to be careful and try not to break the tops off of the ones I want to leave and I really hope you can hear me <laughs> um, here is a good example It literally is a jungle in here trying to pull these out. Here's a really good example of, yes, they are short. They are stout. So, anyway, yummy, yummy. Mm. It smells so good, too. Sorry. And like always, I'm excited. But there's so much to do um, today. Like I said, I've got to get these carrots done. Also, holy cow. If you watched the garlic video, you know, harvested all the garlic. And ended up that night, because the next day it was going to rain, we ended up just, um, that was that long, what was that? Labor, uh, Memorial Day weekend. Um, we ended up and three days of rain, like two and a half inches. Um, it's kind of a lot of rain at one time, but when you hadn't had any in weeks, it was a blessing and a curse because I ended up having to pretty much just leave the garlic in the living room laid out on a um, table in the middle of the living room. And I had the fan going to circulate the air. Well, I don't know what made me look at them carefully last night. Flipped on the light in the living room, and I'm like, "What is this? They're molding, you know, because they're dry. They're they're about ready to cure. They're about cured. The tops are, you know, dried off." And I look down. I'm like, "Oh my God! Why is there mold on my on the brown the tops here?" And uh, I looked a little more careful, and the mold was moving. I'm like, what the what? Yeah. Aphids. Aphids. In my house. I have no house plants. So, that's a problem. Um, so, we got to mitigate that today. And uh, most of the garlic is dried. It should be fairly cured. We're just going to... He said, we're just going to have to take them all out. I said, yeah, we're going to take them out. We're going to pick up the whole table. I'm not touching them. I don't want this stuff all over my house. So, got to do that today. <laughs> got to bring out that whole eight-foot table of garlic outside and then cut the tops, peel back the you know, peel off the outer layer and make sure that, um, yeah, that was not fun. So hopefully that doesn't become an issue for the onions as well. Cause I do have some onions I've brought in the house laid out to cure because we've just, that's going to be the next project. I have got to build a curing rack outside somewhere that can um, <clears throat> get the airflow they need and stay dry at the same time and also keep 
direct sunlight off of them. Anyway, so that's got to be done. Of course, the yard work. Um, got to run to the store and uh, got to run to Lowe's. I need more like steaks, like tomato steaks, because I need about 20, okay, maybe 21. Um, steaks because all the peppers we had a you know Georgia Georgia had um, there's storms the other day when we got the wind up here off of them storms down from down Georgia and several of my pepper plants are laid over and they got so big and heavy last year anyway we had to stake them off so um, I need to get that done today. Get them going back up. Um, you know, it's it's stuff. It's lots of stuff. But I'm excited about these uh, carrots so far. So I'm gonna. Um, this is gonna take a while, right? So I'm gonna pause you here. Come back once I get everything pulled, and I'll show you what we do what well, I do and obviously it seemed to have worked and uh, for storing carrots without processing them so you keep them fresh for a year so gonna yeah this is gonna be a while <laughs> I'll be back sometime see you soon goodness gracious Okay, so these stalks are like celery. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Like a bushwhacking. Lord. Yeah. Okay. Some of these just come up when you start pulling the rest. But, I've been bushwhacking the jungle, but you can see, there's a lot more left. <laughs> and here's my basket that you can no longer see. Filled. Yeah, and this is a bushel basket. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to, um, I don't know if I want coffee or want water. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get this picked up. And, uh, sun is up now. And we are definitely in the greenhouse. What is that? 84. 6. So, now that I have disturbed these guys in here. And see, I mean, there's. You can see the tops, but they're small, so still a lot to do. A lot to do. Mm, 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 mm. Lord have mercy. These guys need some water. I haven't watered the past few days in anticipation of pulling, so they went. They went and be messy. But uh, yeah, gonna pick these up. Let's go to the porch and. Um, Figure out what we got. Okay. Side porch. Where it's a shady. And now we have... Uh, I don't know. Wild something. Suddenly decided to grow up under our deck here. Pineapple plants. Isn't it big? Go back and watch that one. So, setting myself up for carrots <laughs> all right just real quick i got some nice ones in here i got some nice ones look at that knots and knots of yummy carrots 
this is a bushel basket so and you see these little guys they're just you know along for the ride when you start pulling the big ones so all these this tangled web we weave in here <laughs> so I am going to what am I gonna do I am going to I don't know grab a bowl I guess grab my snips my scissors and set me up a little something so I can uh, show you how this goes be back in a bit okay <clears throat> so I'm back you can see big old bowl so far of carrots so there you go so far and I got several more to go Ooh, look at some of these guys okay I wanted to show you real quick how I do this for storage um, so got my carrot I'm just gonna kind of wipe the dirt a lot of the excess off anyway they don't have to be clean don't wash them do not wash them no water no water pull off any little brownie things and then that like that is what I want. So, just a little nub on the top, saving my greens. <laughs> and that's how I prep these for my storage. Now, this this is me. This is um, learning from last year's experiment doing this that it worked for me. I am in the south i'm not deep south or anything like that but we are in the south and it gets humid i mean it could be 65 degrees and humid so <laughs> and feeling like it's just nasty you feel nasty when you walk out the door so this is just how i prep them to go end my quote-unquote sand bucket root cellar okay so I've got a dozen or so more to go and of course come across little guys little nubbies which is fine cut off the ends you know peel it throw the whole thing in a stew pot perfect 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 and I will say this I have several because when you go to pull one everything that's next to it comes out right <laughs> if they're right next to it so I have several little guys um, what I'm gonna do with these I'm just gonna wash them and I'm gonna throw them in my freezer bag that I use to gather up scraps um, to make my you know vegetable broth or add to when I make um, any kind of bone broth more than likely it'll just be my vegetable scrap bag for my vegetable broth that I like to make myself now um, anyway so that's where I'm at I have I don't know a dozen or so to go <laughs> when I pulled them all out of the basket my husband took a picture of me <laughs> holding them so I'll probably put that in there somewhere at some point but I know this video is probably going to end up being a little longer than I had anticipated just because there's just a lot of moving parts here. Um, and you know me, I like to chit chat and tell you what I am doing and why I'm doing it and what I have learned. And, you know, get a little dirty at the same time. Yes, my dirt is black because that is the compost in the greenhouse compost and I think that may have had some black cow in it when I first started in 21 uh, October 21 when I first built the greenhouse but most of that is all that is from the um, compost that I get from our um, county landfill so 
I'm going to pause you here again because I just don't want to keep going. I got, you know, I got a few more somewhere if you can see them to do. A little stack somewhere in here to do. So, a little bit more to go, but I will be back again with how I stored them. All right, here we go, guys. Not a lot of time left to make the video, but here's what we, here's the clean, as in, you know, tops taken off, excess dirt wiped off, cold out. I had two already get nibblies, so don't know if that was the peel bug or one of those weird little creepy crawly centipede thingies. That one, and a little nibble out of that. So, those will be fine. Those will be used up here soon. We'll just cut that off. They'll be fine. And this was my harvest. These I actually had in the, just stuck down in the bucket from, what was it? Um, was it two weeks ago I did a little short pulling carrots? So, these are fine. These are the ones that were stuck in my bucket of sand. This one, I had, <laughs> I was on the phone talking to somebody or something couldn't get the bucket out and I had this bag of sand you know from pulling off the top so I just stuck it in there well same pulled the same time and he is not happy he's not happy at all he's he didn't work out too good so pulled <clears throat> one day after these and these are still Two weeks ago, a little limp, a little noodly. So anyway, definitely this bucket, my little bucket sand method. So just get started, show you a little bit how it works. I just got a little bit of sand. You can see it's not much down the bottom. And what I'll do, if I can do this for you. Some of these are just, these are way bigger than last year. So <laughs> happy about that. So, basically, I'm just going to lay them in here as best I can with nobody really touching. I'm trying to put some of these little guys in between. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I'm definitely uh, going to need another bucket. By the way, so far... This harvest, just these, just the ones today, not counting the ones over there two weeks ago. This is nearly eight and a half pounds. Much bigger, better harvest. And you saw there's still more to come. So anyway... That's how I worked it. Now what I'll do is pour sand over the top here to cover them and then start another layer of carrots. And I'll continue that until I get to the, just about to the rim. Basically I wanna make sure I have a good half inch of sand over top of what's left of, you know, the last row. And uh, yeah, yeah. I need another bucket <laughs> and some more sand. So, on this note, actually, here, I'll hit pause, come back, I'll show you the layer. Hang on. Okay, so put the layer of sand on. You can see there's actually where one of the tops are. Cover that up. Now it's time for the next layer. All right, this is going to be a little bit, because like I said, I am going to have to, and I have one of these buckets somewhere. I just don't think it's, I think I've been using it in the garden, so I'm just going to go buy a new bucket right quick um, to get these finished up. I do not want these out of the ground uh, too long before getting them back or getting them uh, finished, stored up, 
and put in the uh, my outdoor refrigerator which really is just for just excess overflow produce that's kind of what we got going on here so anyway on that note I am going to end the video here and finish this up get to processing that cured garlic maybe I'll have a little picture to throw in at the end and uh yeah busy day busy day and I think I need to eat something too yeah probably <laughs> anyway lots to do all right guys wishing all of the dads out there um the dads yes it's father's day weekend i've always said anyone can be a father but it takes a special man to be a dad and i have one so wishing you all a happy daddy's day weekend and until next time many blessings take care